and uh, we've been watching the wind the past few days, and I think every single day of the upcoming days, we're going to have some element of wind, whether it's just gusty, maybe not damaging, but gusty winds sticking around. So wind chills are certainly going to be part of our forecast here. Still gusts up there at 37 in Latrobe, but many of these are starting to dial back a little bit, but it's, it's going to be on the gusty side here next couple of days, but uh, we're falling out of the damaging wind category at least, so we have that going for us. Still some snow showers around. We've had those winter weather advisories. They've been allowed to expire and we are looking good now when it comes to that part of the forecast, at least for now. Tomorrow morning, we could get a little passage of snow, just a couple snow showers, try to touch off real quick. And then during the afternoon, maybe a little drizzle or light rain and snow mixed together, but there's not going to be a whole lot of precipitation tomorrow. I think that's going to be one of our more quiet days. Friday, especially in the afternoon, we see some moisture lifting in. Initially, we could have some rain and snow on the leading edge of this. You see that uh, approaching the ridges. You see that up to the north. I, I think this could also be the case for Pittsburgh in the lower elevations as, as this system's moving in, quickly transitioning to rain. Another real soaker uh, for Friday evening, Friday night. Saturday, we're going to transition before daybreak that rain back over to snow. So it is going to be a dropping temperature day. Today, we're in the mid 30s right now. 36 Pittsburgh, 34 Butler, 34 Connellsville. And then you look up to the north and there is some very cold air. Uh, once you get past Minneapolis, you get towards Buffalo there, uh, Buffalo, uh, Montana, you get to minus 11 in Albert Hall. That's the cold air that's going to build towards us. And the pinks and the whites, that indicate the coldest of the air. And you can see we get these shots of cold air pushing down towards Pittsburgh. Early next week, we're going to get one. Later next week, likely a secondary shot. So next week is going to be uh, coming with some of the coldest temperatures we have seen yet this season. So highs the next couple days go up and then they come down in bigger fashion as highs on Tuesday struggle struggle to get out of the teens. So get ready for some cold air tonight. We're looking at a low of about 30 degrees. Still a few snow showers floating around there. Nothing big still on the gusty side. That'll be the case again tomorrow. Wind gusts around 30 miles per hour. We'll top off near 40 degrees. Initially, tiny bit of snow, a little spotty rain, but I don't think this is going to be an all day affair. I think we're going to get plenty of dry time throughout the day tomorrow and over the next seven. You're going to see these temperatures going up and as I mentioned, falling temperatures on Saturday and we don't recover much. We get these shots of very, very cold air next week uh, on Monday for Dr. Martin Luther King Day. You're looking at temperatures starting off in the mid teens, 26 for the high and a single digit start to the day with sub zero wind chills on Tuesday.